Hey guys, thanks for watching Cheap Shot. Today is going to be part one of the three part series 3D printing for beginners. We're going to use Fusion 360 to make a little kitty cat. The next video, we will use the slicer to actually turn that into G code for our machine. And then the third video, we will use the Ender 3 to actually print it. So over here is our workspace, right? We want to make a sketch. We're going to hit create sketch. And then we can either um, draw on faces or planes. Um, so we're going to pick this plane right here. And this is where we're going to draw on. We can either use the single line tool to make the outline of our kitty cat. You know, that works too. But I'm going to use some squares. And we're just going to kind of click right here in the center. And I can use tab to change between these two. I can drag it. I've got a couple different options for squares. I can click over here in rectangle. I can use a three point rectangle if I wanted, you know, but I'm just gonna stick with the two point rectangle and we'll make this 30 by 40. Pretty easy, right? Well, now we kind of need to make the neck. So we're gonna come up here and we're just gonna make this five long and we'll say 45 degrees and then easy peasy over here. We can do five again and it'll kind of lock into that angle right there. Um, or you could put the angle in there that lock into that line. That's pretty simple. The other side, so we come up, and if we come over here and we do five, I can go any angle I want. I can come over here and kind of hover on this point, and it kind of maintains that line. See there, and then I can take put five on that line, and I can know exactly when it's all lined up. It just makes it easy that it just snaps together. Kind of helps you understand where you are. And then we'll start over here. We'll make a head. See how it just snapped right in there, 40 millimeters. And we'll make the head 30 by 40 as well. Hit enter. There's our basic shape. We can hit finish sketch. And we have our sketch. Looks like I messed right there with the point, but that's fine. We can see right here down the bottom, we've made one sketch. So now we need to make this 3D. How are we going to do that? We're going to extrude it out. So up here in the top bar, we have an extrude. And we basically want to hit everything that we want to extrude out. We can see that we can drag this either direction. We want to drag it to about 40 millimeters. Okay, pretty simple, right? We need to make the front of the neck though. So here on the Cali cat, we see that his neck goes all the way around. So we want to make that too. So what are we going to do? Remember, this is our front. Why don't we draw on the side of this? I can click one of these planes and I can sketch on that plane. And we want to do the same thing that we did before. We want to come over here. We want to make this five and we want to make this angle 45 degrees. And we can do that again. Did that not make it five? Oh, it's because I got a little point right there. I got a really tricky mouse that I'm still learning. So come over here, we can make it five and we can connect it up. Why not make it a full triangle? Another thing that we can do is we have our rectangle. We can do a three point rectangle too. Totally able to come over here and stretch this five. Kind of sucks because it doesn't give us our, uh, our angle, but that's all right. And then of course, you know, we come up here with five. We can do that too. Not as clean though. But we need to go that all the way through, so we're going to extrude the same thing. We want to extrude that part, and we want to extrude this. Even though it's full, it doesn't matter. We don't have anything out here. So this time, when we drag this over, it automatically assumes that we want to cut it. That's correct. We do. We want to take away that area. And we can drag it all the way out here. We can say, hey, go to a distance. Go to negative 40. That'll be fine. We can say, hey go through it infinity anything that comes out there cut through it but we want to take and we want to use two objects and we want to select this object right here we want it to come all the way through and stop on this plane and that just helps keep it a little bit cleaner if we come back and we change some dimensions that'll always go to that plane so we hit ok and boom we got a nice little neck for our kitty cat so what do we need next we got little feetsies huh so let's come over here sketch on the front face on the bottom and I can make a square and I could probably use a center rectangle right and if I drag it along this bottom I'll get a little triangle when I'm right in the center and I can come up a little bit and I can kind of make this 
you know, 4.1 times 16. That works for me. Why? Random. Who knows? I can finish this sketch and then I can extrude this. I'm sorry, let's press and pull. I can click on this sketch, I can extrude it. And I come all the way to this back object. Right? Kind of give him some legs. He's got little paws. So let's give him some little paws. Let's click on this. And we'll do our two point rectangles. There to there. There to there. Finish our sketch. And then same thing. Click those. Hold shift. Extrude. Let's come out just five millimeters. Eh, it looks a little far. Let's do four. And boom, he's got some cute little paws. Oh, he's getting up there, right? I think Callie Cat's got some back paws too. So we can come over here. And we can kind of give him some back paws. Come up. I want to match up to that line, so I go right there. And look, boom, it follows. We'll give him just a little bit of space. And I can extrude this one. Once again, we're going to go to object. Ah, oh, so cute. Now, if you notice, I probably should have told you about this. Moving around, using the scroll wheel to go in and out. If I click the scroll wheel, I can slide back and forth. And then if I hold shift and the scroll wheel is how I can rotate. Probably should have told you that earlier, but that's all right. So now we're going to do his face. And we're going to do something uh, kind of special for his face. We're going to only do one side of his face, and then we're going to mirror the other side. So what does that mean? That means we need to set up a plane right in the center of our cat. So we're going to come over here to Instruct, Construct, and we're going to make a mid-plane. We're going to make it between this side of him and this side of him. And boom, we got a plane coming right down the center of his face. So now we can take and make his face on this side, and then we can mirror it over to the other side so it's perfectly symmetrical. So let's click on that front place, uh, that front plane. Let's create our sketch. And hmm, let's take and give him um, some circle eyes, triangle nose. And let's kind of give him a weird, goofy smile. All right, that works. And we'll get a line. We don't have to connect it up, but we will. And uh, that looks horrible, but that's fine. What I'm gonna do is just to make it easy, I'm gonna select all these. I'm gonna extrude it in, so I wanna come, let's say negative two. Uh, let's go one, negative 1 1.5. There's my face. So I'm gonna click my extrusion. I'm gonna come up here to create. I wanna mirror. And I have part selected. I have all these parts selected because I clicked that extrusion right here. And I'm gonna select the plane that I wanna mirror it over. I wanna mirror it over this plane right here. And boom, done. We got a creepy looking cat face. It's, it's pretty creepy. Um, we can do the same thing up here for his ears. If we don't really care how crooked they look. Right, come up here. Extrude it out. Where are we going? To object. Boom. Same thing. Click that extrusion. Create mirror it over the other side boom looking uh looking pretty horrible but it is what it is what else we got whiskers whatever let's figure out this tail where's the back side of the tail so it comes out a little bit and then it comes up we can do that easy peasy so let's come to the back side and now remember everything has to connect so let's try and make his tail. Um, we can make it a little bit smaller than his legs. 
but let's make it a square like this where we start off. That connection is more than enough. We'll extrude it out, let's say four centimeters, four millimeters, not nearly enough. 10, boom, that looks fine. So we can extrude on this. Where do we want to come up? We want to take, let's just say that we use our line tool to come up. Then maybe we'll come out, up, over, and back down, and we'll extrude that out. Now, what's the problem with this? Well, that's a good question. I'll tell you what's the problem with this. We're 3D printing up, right? So it's going to do all these layers coming up. This angle is fine. There'll be a little bit of overlap. It'll be able to print that angle A-OK. -okay. But what happens when it comes out here? It's going to come over here, and it's got nothing to support it. So we we, we can't do that. That's not going to work. We look at our Cali Cat, and you see how it comes up, and then it's supported by that tail right there? That's what we need to do. So if I had finished this sketch, I could come back in here. I could click on that, right-click on it, and I can edit it. And I can change whatever I want. So let's come up here. Straight up. Come down. Boom. We'll do that. Finish that sketch. Extrude it out. Seven. Ah, let's do five. And boom. We got ourselves a little kitty cat. Wasn't very hard. Could there have been better ways to do it? Pro probably. I bet someone's going to have an issue with it. Uh, but that's the best thing about cat is once you learn the tools, you know, there's tons of ways to, for lack of a better term, skin a cat. So as you kind of learn the tools, you kind of learn a little bit more about what you want to do. You know, you got different things that you can do, um, all sorts of different shapes. Uh, it, it's really up to you. You know, when I was younger, we were doing a Pinewood Derby and I wanted to make a car out of my wood block. And I told my dad, I said, how do I, or no, I'm sorry. It was using a bar of soap and Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts. And you had to whittle away the bar of so soap to uh, make it look like a bear. And I asked my dad, I said, hey, how do you turn this into a bear? And he said, well, it's easy. Like think of a bear and think of a bar of soap and then cut away anything that isn't a bear. And I thought he was just a, a big old jerk when he told me that, but, but really he was teaching me something, you know, and that's something that I use now today. You got to have a little bit of an imagination to be able to create stuff like this. Um, like I said, this is just a very simple overview. Uh, we'll go into it maybe a little bit more after we're done, but what we're going to do is we're going to save this. Um, you can save it if you want in your Fusion 360. An easy way, if this is just going to be a one-off thing, you're not going to make it again or need it again. You can right click over here and we can save it as an STL. That's the file we want for 3D printing. It doesn't really matter. Cat. That's what we want and it's done. We can close this out. We don't need to save it. We got the kitty cat STL. We're fine. So thanks for watching Cheap Shot. In the next video, we'll take and we'll plug this into Cura. We'll slice and dice it. And then uh, the next video after that, we'll send it over to the printer and uh, see what we can do. Please let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching Cheap Shot.